Nicki Minaj has slammed the BET Awards, telling them this shit ain't going to be shit until you bring the queen back on or you apologize to the queen. <laughs> the link for this video will be in the description. So, according to People, Nicki Minaj slams messy BET Awards for reported low ratings at the network seemingly dissed her. How many of you watched the BET Awards? Probably none of you. <laughs> so, uh, Excuse me, boss. Don't expect Nicki Minaj to make an appearance on BET anytime soon. Now, the rapper, who is 36 years of age, called out the network in a response to a tweet from the account at Music News Facts, claiming Sunday's BET Awards show earned the lowest ratings in the show's history with a reported 2 million views. And people, these are facts, and I'll show you here shortly. And I quote, Nikki said, when you go out of your way to be spiteful and hurt artists who have always supported your show, when you fire great people who have put their heart and soul into the show, when you'd rather be a messy reality show than a prestigious award show, when you're still being dragged by that lace, Minaj wrote on Twitter. <laughs> However, on Thursday, BET released its 2019 ratings uh, and revealing the BET Awards claimed the number one spot for the fifth consecutive year, drawing in 12.7 million total viewers. Her. So, let's look at the numbers here, as you can see. 2006, the BET Awards has always been held in June. Uh, it was six... 0.9 million people watched it. 07, 6.3. 08, 5.8 million people. 09 saw probably the biggest BT Awards ever, which had 10.6 million people that watched it. And then as you look at 2010 all the way down to 2014, 7.9 million to 7.4 million viewers. Uh, 2015, 6.5, 2016, 7.2, 2017, 5.8, and now you could see the ratings for 2019 is 2.0. The lowest ever, only 2 million people in a time and age where everybody streams, everybody has a smartphone, or everybody has some type of uh, social media account where they could watch this. Only 2 million people watch it. And it's, it's a lot of reasons why nobody cares for the BT Awards anymore. But I have to give credit where credit is due. During that uh, time of 2010, all the way down to like 2016, Nicki Minaj was winning every award <laughs> at the BT Awards. And I'm not lying. Yes, like, I mean, go back to like 09. She, when she was a top female, when they had their highest ratings, she was on every show. So that's why she's saying, like, since she's not there, shit ain't popping like it used to. And it's, I hate to say it, she got some facts with that. But it's not just her in particular, uh, but she plays a part. You got to look at the artists. You know, although I wa I watched the BET Awards, and it actually wasn't too bad. It wasn't great. It was okay. It was okay to a point where um, you saw all that hip hop has to offer right now, today. Like you had uh, the biggest, the biggest. Uh, I'll say the biggest acts on there were. Cardi B and Offset, and probably Lil Nas and Billy Ray Cyrus. Uh, a lot of those other, you know, performances was like, we've seen this before. And it's, it wasn't something that was groundbreaking. They didn't have any artists just like a Kendrick Lamar, like, wow, did you see that show? Or a J. Cole to be on stage for like eight, nine minutes. And then you had Mary J. Blige. You know, that was the highlight of the whole show. You know, uh, Mary J. Blige, you had Cardi B and Offset, 
And I think, in particularly, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus and Nas, Lil Nas, just because everybody know that song. That song is the biggest song in the world right now. And that's that's what type of world we live in today. What's the biggest song in hip hop? Lil Nas. Yeah. Old Town Road. The biggest fuck been the biggest song since spring. And it's a, a really more more of a country song than it is hip hop. And it's getting bigger. But that's just how that's just what time what, what the era is right now. That's the wave that's going through. And people would jump right up on that wave. Because pe- niggas now are about money. You know, it's not about the art anymore. Where you just really love what you do. And you know, you're doing it. Not for the money. You're doing it for the art. That shit is dead. Everything niggas do now is for money. And that old town road trend. Of making that country shit with hip hop. You're going to see a lot of niggas. Just jump ship and start making weird ass music because it's selling. White people buying that shit too, and, and Lil Nas is getting paid off that shit. So, yeah, I Nicki Minaj actually got a point. You know, um, they just gotta redo that whole shit. Two million, man. That that's just pitiful. But uh, <laughs> like this video, leave your comment, share it on social media, and subscribe later.